Assalamu alaikum, my name is Taha Shazir. My name is Mohammed Shaheer. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Anas Khalil. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mohammed Zisha. We are here to represent the model of biology from Askaria School and Colleges Boys Wing Southern Campus. So basically, reflex action is an immediate, automatic and involuntary response to a particular stimulation while reflex arc is the pathway by which nerve impulse travels during a reflex action. I am here to discuss five components of reflex arc. The first and basic component of reflex arc is stimulus, which may be heat or cold, whichever hand or feet receives. The second component of reflex arc through which the nerve impulse travels are sensory neurons. The sensory neuron conduct the nerve impulse from receptor organ towards spinal cord. Within the gray matter of spinal cord, we have interneurons, which interpret the information between spinal, uh, sensory neuron and motor neuron. Motor neurons are the fourth component which transmit nerve impulse from spinal cord towards effector organ. As a result, effector organ bends and uh, move, move upward. Now, I am going to explain the pathway of reflex action that is started from the point where we have stimulus. Stimulus is basically change in external environment that may be heat or cold. So as we all know that receptors are present in all over our skin. So when our hand touches that hot object, it receives some kind of information from receptors. Then receptor sends that information towards sensory neurons. Then sensory neurons receive that information and passes through spinal nerve and then enters the spinal cord. Within the spinal cord, we have two parts, gray matter or white matter. Within the gray matter, we have interneurons. Their axon is comparatively thin and non-myelinated. So they interpret the information and pass that information towards motor neurons. Then motor neurons receives that information and moves away from spinal cord and enters the spinal nerve where we already have sensory neurons that moves towards spinal cord. So here is the phenomena of two-way communication also happens. Then after passing the spinal nerve, motor neurons then enters the muscles and then muscles contract and effect is produced and hands move upward. Now I'm going to tell you the speed of non myelinated and myelinated fibers. The speed of non myelinated fibers is 1 to 3 meter per second and the speed of myelinated fibers is 120 meter per second. In this project, the motor neuron and the sensory neurons are the myelinated fibers while the interneurons are the non myelinated fibers. Finally discussing the importance of this project due to which we have selected this project. Now, it is the most important blessing of Allah Almighty. Uh, if the neurons get damaged, it will lead to permanent damage to the body. In the case of polio, the polio virus damages the motor neuron due to which paralysis occurs. Finally, I will thank Allah for his blessing. Thank you.